Alrighty, so I just opened up your scene and usually I put things like that. I got perspective mode so I can see what's happening. That's the camera view. Let's see. Yep. And then anything in terms of keys and then the outline on the left. I do a lot of outliner work. It's kind of a revenant from work from back in the day. All right. So interesting. So you have. Okay. Okay. So that's what you said. You're switching over. So generally I would take this and put it on the root so that the root is doing all the work. Oh, wait. And you also switched. Ah, uh, okay, okay, okay. So, there are a couple of things. There will be a couple ways to change this potentially. So, if you select this, and I'm going to have to bring this down a bit so I can see things here. Uh, and I'm going to do show motion trail. And then under uh, visualize create edible motion trail. You can see, okay, okay. So, that's a tricky thing because at that point... It's not really the root moving. You only have one key here. Okay, okay. It's a tricky thing. So I'm going to show you a couple of rough ideas of how to fix this and then a more detailed what I would personally do. So if you see this, again, the motion trail is not really going to help. So you have to kind of eyeball it. But you can see how things are a bit wonky in terms of spacing. Like here, it would have to be like you're basically here and then you're going to go a bit lower, a bit lower and you can see how it will suddenly shoot up. And I will probably delete that key here. Okay, so we are here. And what is that though? Oh, do you still have what is going on here? Not sure why the motion trail shows us this hiccupy thing. Is it a spline issue? It is not. So it must be the combination of what you have with the other controller. Because there it's okay. Well, generally. Let me just try something else. I'm destroying this just to kind of see what happens when I put this on top of that. Okay, so it kind of smoothed it out. Okay. So basically, <clears throat> it would be this where you, with the tool, whatever you want to have here, you would have to map out that arc of how you want to jump. So this could be create poly sphere. Now, it's not like you always have a perfect arc in terms of how things move. So you can take this, you know, I mean, like when. when I mean, you could potentially even do something like that. Just to kind of match where you are at from the beginning to the end. This is obviously not the best way. But it's a way. Where is your root? Did I just turn this off? No, so much no highlighting is still there. Interesting. Not sure what suddenly changed in my, uh, in my view. But you can technically then go... It's not quite there. So if you're jumping and that's your jumping off point and then you want to land there, I'm going to match it to, to these two frames. How about this? Okay. And then you would jump and you would match the outline here. And then you're here, here, you know, roughly here here and you can go back and then maybe set a key around here and as you drop you're around here that's another key you might land here and then you have that as compression which is nice and then you go up and then it might just be a bit more further forward to here going back not so much and then you're kind of here and here i'm gonna take all this and i hit Engine spline, which basically it's what I just did. I took this right click, but it's underneath the uh, uh, the area there. So this is like spacing wise, not the best because you still have the one, two, three, and then that pop there. Because that's because of this controller that starts to move. 
but the arc is better. I mean, there's some wonky stuff there. Again, because it is not the best idea to track your stuff there. But you can see how, like, your up and down is is not, you know, like, this technically should be your up and down. If you had an arc just on the root, your your uh, Y translate in the graph here is basically showing you this ish. Some more hang time. You know what I mean? It would be a bit more oh, a bit more like that. Now that doesn't work again because you have extra animation on this main controller there, so that's going to mess everything up. But technically, that is more of what that jumping arc would look like we gotta change this again i mean like a dome like this so clearly that doesn't work that would be the first step and if you hadn't animated anything on this now if you want to just fix what you have then it's what i just did with the sphere if that is an arc that you want it's basically just a visual helper guide in terms of how this character should follow that arc you can also do, if I show universities, you can create a curve tool. Uh, you can CV curve tool and you can say, well, I want to jump from here to here, to here, to here, to here, and land here. And now that is your, your curve. And then if you do edit, control vertex, so you can always kind of adjust this. This is my fall off. So if I go here, and I uh, go down here. It's the soft selection. That's the soft select. See how this is color and I take this off and it's absolute meaning like if I just move that point, it's only moving that point. And if I add a fall off, you can see that it starts to influence outside um, points. So the, wherever that color falls off, if it's blue, then it's not going to be influenced. If that makes sense. So you can, you know, technically you can Bring this down, you can see how it somewhat changes. Sometimes nice for um, for modeling. But you mean like that would be, if you want to draw a curve like this, and say, I'm going to jump up and I'm going to jump this high. And that's, that's now my curve. Okay, well, that could be your helper curve. So if I select this and I go back down and this is where it would start and this is where it would end, that would be one way. You can see it's not perfect, but again, it's just there as a as a guide and then you go and you select wherever keys you had again i'm not super worried about the spacing just because it's off anyway because of that main controller but you can see now you know like this wouldn't be right and so on so now as you do this again this is just because of the multiple keys all of this will be will be fixed afterwards but technically this is another way to track things if you don't want to manually use a dry erase marker and draw on your screen to then, you know, do your proper curving and so on and so on. That would be that. Um, now that this is here, I mean, delete. Sometimes the motion trail can slow down things. This is what, again, it's all wonky was what I added, but the, let's pretend you're keeping this. And you have a mix between the root and this. And everything is beautifully spaced out, I believe. So your issue was with the feet. Where is the switch? Okay. Are we... Okay. You are switching already here. Why not? I mean, you can switch at that point. So it seems like, is this the controller of the feet? Okay. They seem to be on the same controller. Let me just pick one. Okay. Sure, right on this one. So let me see. You have the foot landing. So technically on that land, which would be nicely on the ground here. All right, so that's kind of, let's say, a little bit of uh, intersection. That's where it lands. Okay, so at that point, nothing else should be happening. So I'm going to key everything here and delete everything after that. Technically... The foot shouldn't be moving. Okay, so you have the foot still moving. So this is not an IK issue. That must be because your main controller here still has keys. 
There you go. Okay. So the moment you land, bam, on that impact, set a key on that frame, delete everything else. Not quite. There you go. Now you can see that nothing is moving in terms of this foot here, right? It lands, boom, and nothing else is moving. So that sliding was because you had animation on this. That is the issue. Now, technically, this is going to kill everything. I don't know how much damage I'm going to make here. It's going to be brutal. But if I take this and I just take all of this out. Okay. So you have... Okay. So that's... Actually, let me try something. I'm going to open the scene again. And do the same thing that I just did. See, it looked like it was not that bad. As in... You had a good up and down. So you take this. I want to take this out. All of this. I want to do everything through the roots and IK legs. Oh, okay, no, so it wasn't. Okay. Well, but that's okay. So what we're going to do, again, you can do this just with the helper object, the curve, just with, you know, from a way of just using your eyeballs. So if it goes and then jumps up, let's say we jump over here, it's going to be very rough. But basically what I'm going to do is it's going to jump up and it's going to go That's probably going to be, well, hold on, we can do this here. You jump and you had this as your land. Let's say we're landing around here. And then you can see what those translates are doing. So I move this and Z all the way over there. And that's where we started. Okay. This is going to be absolutely insane. Okay. But just bear with me. And you're going to go, whoo, that's your highest point. So let's say we take this key here. Okay. Let's spline a bunch. Just to get in there and then you're up and let's say that's your highest point there and then you land here that is the wrong key but that's okay actually I'm gonna keep this one because I want some hang time okay okay so it's a bit harsh obviously on that drop there keep this make this a bit more even in timing, how about a bit more hanger, longer hang time? But it's this guy, right? So you shoot. What if I delete this and go? Okay, why not? All right, so I'll do like that. Could be a bit sharp on the jump, but again, this is just, I just want to make this fast so that I can show you what I mean. So then the feet. You have a foot roll. What is the foot roll? Knee lock, foot tilt? That's not foot tilt. That's the one, interesting, okay. So to me, it would be here. And then at that point, bring him back down. Ooh, we have all kinds of stuff here. Okay. I see, and they already go up. So then your feet, interesting. Okay, so yeah, I will keep them here. So as the feet will Go up here. Character will land. All right, so you want them to be, you know, somewhat. Ooh, hold on. What did I do? Did I not switch all of them? Mm, I did. I did. Interesting. Interesting. Okay. Well, I'm gonna try it again. <laughs> so we are landing here. Oh, is it doing that thing? Uh, does that sometimes, doesn't it? Um, hmm. Okay. Well, then I am going to move one. Doesn't really matter. You can do one by one. So we're here. And then the other one is here. And that will even have a slight offset. And then we want all the keys in the middle to be gone. Right. So as we're starting to jump off from, let's say, from here, I'm gonna keep this one as well. 
delete this, keep this on actually like that. Okay. Could be nice to have a bit of a slide. Interesting. Okay. That's because of your height. That's fine too. And before I actually do anything like that crazy town here, I am going to see these guys. Okay. So as you jump, you can see that flipping. So you don't want this to be an animal. <laughs> you want these to be, whoa, that was interesting, to be out there. So as you jump, they can be leading. I think it's going to make a huge difference. Actually, they're not even leading far enough. Look at that. That's an interesting thing. So I'm just going to drag this manually. Doesn't really matter. Okay. So now as you jump, knees are fine. And then you will have to adjust these uh, manually in terms of we're jumping, we're here. And that's on the high point. It might be like this. Take this out. Again, I'm just concerned about general posing so that you understand what is going on and what I'm doing. So we don't want it there, maybe. Delete it here. At what point? Okay, so we don't want to land with um, bent legs. Actually, good that I'm seeing this here. You can go back and say two frames. So you can see this. Definitely land like this. And then you can decide if you want to land like that. If you want to land with your toes down. So you can have something where it's like this. And then maybe we are here for something. Uh, it's those, this again. For that and then land. Now, I don't really want a slide, so that's a linear or a spliny key. There you go. A remnant there. Delete all of this. So as a jump, you have this now. So you have the jump and the legs are following. Again, you can decide how long you want them to be overstretched like this. Obviously, it shouldn't be overstretched, but just generally, you know I mean, it could be like this. Looks like you still have foot rolls on there. So if the moment you're off, I take this right, like all of these, bam, and you get off the ground, then it would all be at zero. So you can see here, this is at zero. This all makes more sense. And then as you would continue and play with this, you will start to add some more offsets. And then as you are up here, like one can start to lead to some degree and get there and maybe have a slight like that take the other one and the other one might be slightly delayed even more and you can play in terms of silhouettes where we are at bam and land like this for instance but again in your case you played it all symmetrically with um, both legs doing the same but that is kind of, to me, the cleaner approach of doing the jump instead of having that switch between Nike FK or using your your main controller here to move stuff around. I can see this if it's a longer thing or you're flying around and then you land and you have to transition into this. I, I get that. That could be one way. Um, but given that it's only a couple frames of you traveling, uh, to me, it seems it, just, it would just make a bit more sense to do this uh, in an IK way and just with the root. Again, you have to fine tune things so you're not going crazy with, you know, all the overstretching and so on. Now, the other thing I want to take a look at is that when you're jumping, you're going, well, there were a couple of things. If that's your head, one thing that I mentioned was that, wait, the layers? No, okay. That the character would be looking up. So you might start there and I wouldn't even go that low in terms of what the character is doing. So it's kind of like, I want to look at where I'm going and then splitting this. And then you might go, and now you go up like this. And even here, I'll go a bit higher. Well, I want to change the route, so that's going to change as well. But technically in what you have now, I would wait a bit. And then as this happens, you can do this. But then, do you have keys here? You probably have keys on all of these some degree okay 
have a bit more of a C curve there. And then you can always come up. It's still a bit much though into that. Again, this is all rough, but as a general idea, what I would do is I'll probably not go like that. Just keep it a bit more in terms of where it wants to go. So if you have an arc like this, uh, let me change color. If it lets me, that tool is freaking out. There you go. Um, so that's your arc. Your body will be going along that arc and not point it up this way while going out this way. That might just be a bit wonky there. So to me, it seems like let's reduce this. And I'm going to set this as a key here. Delete just that. Again, it's all rough, but as an idea, I think that's pretty cool that it compresses there. And then now you're countering and going back. That's cool. But then the thing is that as you land, it's not too bad, though. You might even go a bit further back. I'm going to delete this. Spline all of this. So that even when you do this, I will probably wait a little bit. And even then, you're going to have a bit of a delayed compression as you go up. And even then, it feels just a bit strong. And then what I was talking about in the critique is that you were going up a bit too, too quickly. You can always go there and then there. It still has a very harsh stoppage here. So it's kind of like that. I mean, at that point, I would probably go here. And it, I mean, you might even go backwards a bit and then forward, but straighten this out. Maybe just a bit more like that. Okay. Now that you have this all moved out and you can see how there's like a nicer arc and it's not going too crazy in terms of um, how, like where it's pointing. You can feel how this section feels very soft. So that's when you can go, you know what? I'm going to make this a bit stronger. So as it goes, this could be much higher. So this is now where you can start experiment and just go a bit stronger. And you might even have like a slight break this, like a slight break in the key so that there's a bit more of an impact of of like that explosion of going up. But even then, it feels a bit better. But it still feels like it's just very even. And it's this, how this just goes very evenly up there. So let's pretend we're keeping this like that. And then we're going a bit higher. It's going to be a bit flatter hang time. And we can leave this. Let's see what this does. And you look at this and you go, oh. all right, that seems a bit better. Now it seems a bit harsh. And that's now your fine tuning, if it lets me, your fine tuning type of thing. Okay. So then you have a bit of a stronger explosion there. And then it's very flat in its arc there. So you want to go then a bit higher so that you can see that maybe then I would keep this a bit higher. And of course, it starts to break everything you did with the leg. So that is actually a good example there. That will be the counter argument of what the uh, an IK leg will do. Because the moment I start tweaking arcs like this and the timing of all that, right? Then you're going to have problems with feet. It's the other one being overextended. But you know what? To me, it's like you're going to do this adjust this anyway for a little bit and then you can then go back and you're gonna have to readjust certain things bam and do all of this and so on and so on and then you can again start playing with some offsets so it lands a bit differently and i don't want this to overextend so bring this back copy key back that's where i want it to land and so on so that feels a bit better. Then I want to go actually back in here and give this a bit of a stronger kick. See how this is slightly, slightly, it's more than slightly curved this way versus still more of a straighter curve. So what if I zero this out and actually use the root instead? All right, so you have the 
keep it like this. You're going into this. And even then, I feel like we're going a bit too soon into that curvature. What if I do this more through the root? Okay, so you can see all the keys that I have here. And I'm messing everything up. That's fine. And I would probably go a bit more, going a bit against of my arc uh, comment before, but that's okay. And then you can potentially play with a bit more compression into this. It's a bit wonky there, the spacing. You can see what's going on. It's a bit wonky there. Again, I said I'm going to do this rough. And of course now, because I like animating, uh, it's, you know, I'm playing around a bit too much with things. <laughs> But, phew, feels a bit better. Where's that guy? Off balanced. So now, phew, I still feel like this is a bit too, too soft. So then you can again play around with phew, how far you want to shoot this and how this feels. And so you can start tinkering a bit more with all of this. The feeling of there, you can hold this a bit longer and not have such a long travel. So when you go like this, what if you already go like that and it's slightly offset, I mean off balance, but that's okay because you're going to jump anyway. So you can have a moment of shooting a bit forward. It's kind of like, and you can see you can start the sooner. So as you're here, you have that. So then I will go maybe ease into this a bit more. So it's more of a to that, right? And once you have this, I mean, this goes on and on. I just can't let go of things. But if you have that, you want to make sure that your your body doesn't shoot forward so quickly. So you would have a bit of a delay. Then you go forward, but then you don't want to have this pose to pose. So when the root is kind of done, then is when your, your spine is finishing that move. Again, spline this roughly here. And you have that. I don't want this to go back so soon. Keep that off balance and then it shoots into this i'm going to wait a bit into that type of shoot off there and then what's the head doing that i'm not so happy with the head either i can't stop animating because i love it too much goes that and you can even potentially redrop and then go into this and then it does that so probably kind of wait a bit and then you go down and then you have that and even here on the drop potentially you can go back up and then boom, that's when you have that compression there into this and then we want to look up a bit sooner and that's fine whoops and i don't care about the details it's just a bit of a spline so you can see now you can see like where the head wobbles where i went too far like that feels more like a yes so what if I keep this lower and even that feels a bit much. So I'm going to wait a bit and actually not go that strongly. Something like that. Still feels like a wobble there. That. To this feels a bit much. And sometimes you just have too many keys, you know, they're just going to go. Ah. Let me just delete that key and not, not worry about all that stuff. And as you go back, you might not want to go so back. So you want the head to kind of counter that backwards move. And then go back up here. Spline this. I know my default is linear. I should just default everything to spline. Something like that. Of course, I can't let go because you don't want this to be pose to pose. The root would stop. And after that, that's when the head continue. Add some more keys for the spline bump. And so on. So you have a... Yeah like that I, mean, I like making sounds that kind of helps me again it's a bunch of stuff wrong still in terms of the fine tuning of the legs and all that good stuff but it's it's to me a bit more successful than before which one is this so right so you can say well what if i shoot forward just a bit sooner and i'm a bit whoa <laughs> uh, do that hey friends which one oh see not this guy Wow. All right. Let's bring this guy up here. Delete. Spline. So they have a bit of a, a stronger offset on the legs. 
which actually feels too strong now. Feels like he really wants to go forward. It's a bit of an, uh, an overachiever, also slightly linear. So actually, you can see on that jump, I'm a bit too late in all this. And then I'm a bit too fast. And here, probably just too strong. Watch out for tangents. You have a little bit of overlap and break in silhouette. I just can't let go. I just want to keep animating this. <laughs> All right, let's stop. This is half an hour already. I hope this helps. So this is my approach for something where the distance is short. Again, if this would be flying around, then I might consider the main controller, wherever that one is here. I might consider this. And then switching to FK, but for a smaller jump, I would do something a bit more like that. And then follow the, uh, let's keep the, the legs in IK land. That's kind of that. I hope that makes sense. Um, I just want to keep fine tuning this, but I need to let go. I just love animating. So one more thing. Even if you do something from the side, you can still have something like that where you start adding side rotations into this. So it's not so flat in default. I know this seems silly like from orthographic point of view, but it's just sometimes nice to not have them completely flat. Think about offsets, some delays there. This probably shoots forward a bit too much into that. I'm just messing things up at that point. <laughs> anyway, I gotta let go. I just like animating. What can I say? I get in there and I'm like, ah, oh, let, me, let me do more. Let me do something with this. Where are the arms? Let me do more. It just feels better than like the arc before. And actually, I'll go back to what I said before. Let's do this again here. Visualize, edible motion trail, motion trail. Okay, so then you can see this. And you can kind of see, all right, you know what? What if I have this a bit more like this? Actually, a bit more like that. You can see that sudden drop there. So you can start editing a bit more like this. And you can actually see what I missed there, where the root supposed to have a bit more of a forward arc is going to be too much but you don't want this to just go flat uh, in terms of landing that's strange though what is this see now I'm oh, what is that what did I do here that was a weird double bump anything in here problematic Ooh, it is actually delete this guy ah keep this and go a bit more forward so it has a forward move. Oh, this seems a bit fast there. All right, see, I'm back in that trap. Whew. Seems a bit better. See that that'll arc at the end. But then, of course, you would have to finish it as well. So as you go back, it just kind of rests too far. I mean, you can go, whoom, it goes up here. What if you set a key here? And then I go a bit down. I hear my dog in the background uh, snoring. Now I forgot, I was distracted by the dog. I don't know what I said key-wise, but... <laughs> See here, spline. Hold on. All right, a bit of wobble there, as expected, with that little... Because then you get those extensions on the legs. So I'm going to cheat this. Copy key. And just do a, a bit more of a bend stop, but... Arc feels better, especially towards the end, right? So it's always good to track, go back to motion trail. Now you can kind of see what's going on. This feel, ideally, I wouldn't flatten here so quickly. So you want to go, let me delete that and go into this. I just can't stop, can't stop. So what if we are not going as strongly here? Still, mm, might give a spline bump, spline this though. Get into here. And then we're just going to go a bit higher here. It's going to be a bit flat. There's always then the danger that you start going higher and higher and higher. I understand that that's a problem. But I'm still going to keep it like this. Take all of these spline. Oops, my dog is going crazy. Because my wife just came home. There he is. My dog is going crazy. Well, my dog says it's time to stop. And that's what I'm going to do. So here's the end. 
obviously still stuff to do, but hopefully helpful. Like I said before, just let me know. I'm going to save this. I'll send you the Maya file and you can let me know uh, if you have any questions. Okay, dog, <laughs> I'm going to stop. All right. There's an email. You can sign up. You can start whenever you want. You can submit whenever you want. You get 16 submissions. Either way, a like and subscribe would be awesome. All right. Thank you.